Welcome back. If you've been here before, uh, thank you for watching. If you've not been here before, there's some videos prior to this one to give you the progress of how I've got to where I've got to and what I'm about and everything else. There's an introduction video right at the beginning if you want to go and have a look at that and see what we're doing. This is a 2009 Sprinter van that was a builder's van and I'm kitting it out to try and be a family of four uh, camper van. So on the last vlog I did the electrical and it's just about finished. There's still the shore power to put in and some switches to put in, some reading lights, little things like that which I'm not too fussed about. So we're moving on, uh, we'll come back to them as and when and the next thing now is the bed which is a fixed double bed at the back of the van the placement of that is going to decide where my shower wall starts where my kitchen starts and things like that so it's important that i get this measured at least even if it's not permanently in i don't want to put it permanently in you see people on videos where they put it in place and then they're climbing over it every day to get in and out and to do things i'm not doing that i'm going to put it get it so it's in place then i'm going to take it out and store it until till right at the end probably so i'm doing the ikea thing which is the scova um, mid beams i think they're called um they are supposed to come with little hanging brackets massive problem really disappointed in in um, ikea and how they responded to me so i bought three beams i went to spares where you're supposed to get the hangers from, is what I understand. And the guy came out and he said, why have you got three? I said, well, I'm doing a camper van. And he went, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I can't let you have the hangers in case something happens. I said, well, I bought the beams. I said, the be what, what I do with them now, I could stick them in my garden and have them as a sculpture. It's not your business, so can I have the hangers? No, absolutely not. He more or less walked away from me. Extremely disappointed in Ikea. If you, I think if you're going to walk through and buy a jam jar and a chopping board, then that's about right. If you actually want something specific and ask them for it, it seems to be a problem. Um, but I'll show you what I've got. So just like that, we have a double bed in the back of the van um, I was looking at again problems with the hangers wouldn't let me have them so I saw another YouTube video where a guy used a metal rail which has a lip in it just like the brackets the rail is designed to hang kitchen cupboards so you mount the rail to the wall and hang the cupboards from it There's like a little lip at the back um, so I thought about adapting that, cutting it into six sections and having one for each lip. But now I'm looking at what I've done, quite coincidentally, it fits nice on the CLS. I can put a couple of screws through the top of each beam and then it won't go side to side. Um, so I don't need the hangers and then stick them. Stick them where the sun don't shine, Ikea. Jeez. But I'll be going back to Ikea for my little knickknacks and my little trinkety stuff. So I better not say too much. So it's not in place properly, as you can see. And I don't know whether to stagger them like that. Or have them in such a way that they are half and half. Butter up like that. Or whether to stagger them in there. I'll work out what I'm doing. I don't think there's any right or wrong you just do what you do but what it's going to do is it's going to give me so the blue tape that we had on, on the wheel arch is not far off that's where we thought the kitchen would start so by the time I've moved this beam over to the edge of the slats then it's probably going to be about right and same on that side that's going to be where shower and toilet wall starts the box will be partially in the shower the toilet will be at the side of here and then the shower will be sort of this area with the toilet there and it's about more or less where the knife is on the floor is where the bed's going to finish i think but like i say i'm not going to permanently fix it in um i'm gonna i am going to fix it in but then i'm going to take it out and store it so that i can carry on working but it'll give me my absolute definitive 
line for my next step. Uh, that's the brand of the slats. You can see the size that I've got there. So you can get a double slat, but I, I fancied two single slats. I don't know why, I just did. I th it felt like it gave me more flexibility, more uh, movement. And then these things are called, but it's not even on here. No, Scorva, S-K-O-R-V-A. And good luck getting your brackets. I'm not. I'm not going to shut up about that. I'm going to keep going on about brackets because I am disappointed. 